Hey everybody! Today I was gonna do a quick experiment with some, uh, well, my son really wanted to make a volcano with baking soda and vinegar, and I decided we'd science it up a little bit. So he's gonna help us out. Um, just a quick side note, only do these kinds of things with adult supervision. Uh, the second thing is, we're in the middle of a rather difficult Daddy time in cleaning boring. products. Daddy, is it working? Boring. Okay, we're doing a test run. Alright, so, um, don't use materials if your family needs them, right? So vinegar is a potent cleaning product that's actually quite good at killing uh, viruses. So, you know, don't use up what the family needs. But if you have a little bit of extra sitting around the family wouldn't mind you using, you could give this a try too. Always be safe. You probably want to do this in a place where it's easy to clean up. And of course, um, you know, don't bother family members with this. Make sure that you're uh, being safe. If you have any questions, you can ask. All right. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope you enjoy and uh, let's do a home science. Oh, hi! We're gonna do some science, some home science. My uh, buddy here, my co-scientist, Will, is gonna help us out. So, today we just did a test run of this. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna bring people up to speed. So, what you're gonna need for this Hang is... On. Oh, Hang on! Hang on, we need... We need mommy now. Oh no, mommy's working, buddy. Mommy this is you and me. So, we're gonna need balloons. Uh, just any old balloon. We used no, it. No, we're uh, we're gonna try. Last time. Try, no, we're not gonna do the blow up a balloon thingy. Oh, yeah. I thought that's what we were gonna do again. We're not. We're what do you want to? Do? We're going to the foamy volcano. Yeah. Foamy okay. Well, volcano. how about we do both? We'll do one and then the other. We'll do them both. This again. is this is this is the foamy volcano because it, this time it, because it's supposed to be. So we're gonna test the balloon to see if it actually holds air. Remember when there was a little hole in there and it go... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this works. So how this works is you need a smallish spoon. I'm using an old ketchup bottle. Any bottle with a whitish opening will do. Where's and you take some baking soda. Just any old baking soda. Ah! It's okay, it's empty. <laughs> Daddy, uh, look what I'm doing. You're hiding. And I'm hiding you, behind the vinegar. It's a good idea to do this on a tray so you don't spill, but... I put that in there and I can just let the baking soda fall inside. And we used this one once before with some water, so I don't think it'll react. Alright, two. Two seem to work pretty good. Do you want to go a little more today, Will, or just leave it at two? Uh, I want it, I want it at four. Four. Four? Ooh boy. Three. We'll try four. These are uh, teaspoons, by the way, five milliliters. Four. A little less, but the other one was a little less. So now the baking soda is in there. Uh oh, I should have let that dry. Oh well. This might start reacting before we're ready. Now, it's a good idea to use a dry bottle. We did the test run just before. So now I get my fingers inside the balloon and I stretch it open and I go up over the lid like this. There we go. And uh, it should be wide enough that when I turn it upside down, baking soda falls down inside the balloon. There's a little pack. What? Do you feel it in there? Squishy. Yeah. All right. So now I can go ahead and take the balloon off and don't let the powder out. I'll put that someplace safe. Next, we take our run-of-the-mill vinegar. Hold on to that carefully. Take our run-of-the-mill vinegar. Now this is a little different because there's powder inside, so I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Don't put it in your mouth unless the teacher says you can. It's just baking soda. It's not going to hurt you, but it won't taste very good. So I'm not going to taste it. Baking I'm soda it in French is bicarbonate de soda. Uh, so that's basically bicarbonate of soda. Carbon being the key word here. Baking soda doesn't really give it away, but the French one does. Bicarbonate. So that means there's lots of carbon atoms in there. So when you combine baking soda and vinegar, we've all done the volcano thing before, it actually uh, reacts, and this might react a little as I pour some in here. Oh, there we go, because there was a little bit of powder left. Put a little more baking soda this, or, uh, vinegar this time. So we have more powder too. So no, here. I put that in there and that's, here. that's about 20, 
funny, but 250, maybe three, maybe 350 mils. Oh, good job, stretch it. Okay, I got my fingers in. I'm gonna be able to turn it over without letting the powder drop in. Now this next part, we should probably go back outside for. Or do you just wanna try it here? Try it here. Okay, let's do it, do it, drop it in. Oh, the bubbles are already happening. So that's not gonna work, it's already inflating. Shake, 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 whoa. We've gone too far. <laughs> Look at it go! This is, it's all that carbon, which was solid and packed close together, was down below, or falling down below. But now, now it's, look at that. Can't break. You no, know, well, easy, we don't want it to pop. All right, pop. and what's even fun is we can even mix them like this. Daddy, 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 I say tie, tie Mix it in day. the balloon. Daddy, I want it, I want it, Daddy, I want it to be a balloon with them inside. So take it off. Oh, no, put it on. back in. I just wanted to, once I bubble this back out again, that's mostly vinegar and, ba and baking soda has reacted. Check that out. It inflated itself. Might need to hold it on the edge of that. Now, I'm going to unconnect that again. Okay. <laughs> Now I can do so, mine. So, listen, it's still making a little bubbly noise. So, part two. Ooh, the balloon broke, but it actually held just long enough. So I'm gonna tie that off. Now, if I had my triple beam balance, which I don't, because I'm working from home, we could compare the substance that's inside here with regular air, in, uh, regular air, uh, by weighing it and seeing if it's the same weight and so hey, on. Daddy! In, hey, Daddy. in high school, you learned the molar mass. Daddy, Daddy, when I poured it into a, another pot in the sink, it became bubbly again. And then I kept it over. Perfect. Thanks, bud. <laughs> so, I... I'm going to compare a regular balloon with uh, uh, filled with air about the same size with this one. And just see what kind of reactions, uh, how they behave, what kind of properties they might have. bigger. That's pretty close. All right, so not exactly a scientific measurement, but you know, pretty close. So I now have two balloons that are sort of similar in size, Daddy, Daddy, come but they look behave at this. differently. Watch this. Daddy, come and look at this. If I bounce this Daddy, one. Come and look at this. Now, there was a little bit of liquid in there, and there still is, so that's going to account for some of this. But watch this, bud. I'm going to bounce this one, and look at it behave. See how it just goes up in the air and slowly comes back down. Now I'm going to give this one about the same amount of force. It's subtle. I want you to see that again. When I book them both, again, scientific term, when I book this, uh, I'll book the regular air one. Whoa, buddy, you're doing it again. Okay, over here. Boop. See the rebound bounce? Now I'll try that with this one. Boop. Dad, it's I'm subtle, using... you can't really see it. You can tell by feel more than anything, but the bounce, the other one bounces heavier. It behaves a little differently than the regular air. Now that might be the liquid in there. So if I really wanted to, I'd put a little bit of liquid in there regular balloon. I propose that probably the carbon dioxide balloon, because it's filled with carbon dioxide, it bounces a little bit differently because it's a different substance. Anyway, thanks for joining. You can try this one at home with parental supervision. Uh, be safe. Uh, don't make a giant mess, but you can give this a try. If you happen to have a very accurate scale, you can compare air from just my lungs versus Daddy, Daddy, the stuff Daddy, that comes Daddy. bubbling out of the carbon, uh, of the, basically the carbon dioxide balloon. Anyway, Daddy. thanks. And thanks to Daddy. Will, you were an awesome dude. We're gonna do but, the volcano. But we're gonna do a volcano with the recording, remember? Sure, dude. Daddy, the get volcano. the vinegar. Oh, here it is. Here it is. See how that balloon falls and this one kind of doesn't. Isn't that funny? This is why we do it over. <laughs> Alright, put a little bit of soap in. Now chemically, this is a base. And this, may, this is gonna mix with- No, no, we're doing it right here. Oh, no, we're doing it outside. Okay, we'll do it outside. 
I'll bring the vinegar. What a good helper.